you know, like you go to the bank and they always turn you down. That's why I tell people, I always tell people, get money when you can get it, mm -hmm. because when you need it, there nobody's gonna give it to you. It's very, <laughs> it's very difficult to get yeah. money when you need it. Hey everybody, uh, this is Joe Dallow, and welcome back to Joe Knows. I'm here with a special guest, Sal Nissan, and uh, Sal's going to tell us more about you know what he does and uh, the products and, and services that he can offer to, to his clients. But let's start out with uh, why don't you give us like a background of you know uh, you as a person, how you got here, um, and how you got to do what you're doing. Sure. Yeah. So. I'll just fast forward to about like the last three years and how I got into the finance space. So I had a job where I was driving about hour, hour and a half every day. And instead of listening to music, I started to switch into listen to like podcasts and audiobooks. So I got into this entire space where they teach you self-development and everything. And it clicked at that point where I needed to up my skills and learn something new. From what i was doing differently and i was just out of college then so i made the decision to you know join a company that's going to teach me about sales and financing and it's a good skill to have no matter what you do so that's how i actually got started in the finance business and it's from there i just wanted to better myself more and more that's how we uh, actually came up with uh, the commercial financing business now yeah, I, I agree. The sales stuff is very difficult. Even you can learn about it in theory. I've, I've read a lot of books on sales, but it's not an easy thing to translate into actual practice. Right. You have to be actually a natural salesperson and actually do some assessments where they like show you like what kind of salesperson you are. And I was like, OK, oh, I don't th I don't think I was like a salesman or I still don't think I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's more of doing it naturally, being personable. And that's what's going to get you success in any business. Right. And well, what do you think was the driving factor to get you into that area? Uh, I wanted to better myself. I was sick of the job that I was working at <laughs> and Everybody, everybody's sick of their right, job. you know, get out the corporate, uh, be your own boss and, uh, without learning new skills and, and developing yourself, you cannot do that. What, what goals do you have for this new business that you started out? And can you give us a little bit more about what you're actually providing for clients? Sure. So what we provide at Kishola Capital is basically uh, alternative financing, alternative business financing, if you will. Uh, for uh, real estate, commercial real estate, and businesses. Uh, most of the stuff that we focus on are uh, new constructions uh, for multifamily units. Uh, what we uh, also focus on is fix and flips, and uh, of course, uh, new acquisitions so for sure. On the other side, uh, we do provide business capital, so that's uh, fast and easy funding for businesses that do need that cash injection into their business right away. So it's about two different things that we do, but you know, same company, same service. And we like to think about, you know, I like to think about myself as a consultant and an advisor to these people that rather than just providing a uh, product or a service. Okay. And I've worked with you guys on a couple of things. So I just wanted to mention this part yeah. of it. I know that there are a couple of products that you guys offer that are only for entities. So an, an individual can't get that product. So it either have to be a business or a trust. Is that correct? Correct. Everything that we do is actually has to be on an entity. Okay. So even if you don't have that, you can get that established uh, during the process. Let's say it's your first time buying an investment property. You don't want to go in under your personal name. You want to put it under the entity you can purchase it and then you can do the paperwork after it takes what 10 minutes okay and i think that's something that you can help with or yeah so i can help establish an entity whether it's a, an llc for a business or if they want to go a different route they can establish a trust and then now they're covered for their estate plan so that their property or business that they're buying won't have to go to probate court they can leave it for their family as well Right. You, you want to make sure that there's not much friction in there <laughs> when yeah. you're doing these things. I think putting things on an entity makes it easier and will also let you build something for the next generation as well. Right. And then, uh, you know, speaking of that, why don't you give us your background, you know, coming here and what you've learned 
from coming here and, and getting to where you're at right now? Oh, man. Oh, that's a tough one. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, coming here when I was, what, 13, 14 years old, uh, just directly to high school with no English. It was very difficult. I had my first job when I was, like, 13, 14 uh, in Turkey. And I worked for this guy that did real estate on the side. So I always knew I wanted to do something with real estate. I used to go hang uh, signs for him. Uh, I used to go like clean windows. <laughs> it was it was fun, but I was also saw like, like what real estate does, and I always it was something that I was, always wanted to do. Okay. Not an agent, but you know, right now I'm in the finance side of it. But it's something that I always wanted to do. But coming here was 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 a challenge. You know, I I speak four languages, so. Uh, you know, add English to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, went to high school, college, you know, the traditional way of what, what our parents taught us. Yeah. And everything that I've been doing for the last three years is, has been after college. Like, right. okay, I accomplished that, but now what's next? Yeah. Like, I don't want to just, like I mentioned earlier, just want to work for for somebody or somewhere. Yeah. Now you have to take your, uh, yourself to the next level. And I think just as a community, as a Chaldean community, we are very business oriented yeah. uh, so we like to do uh, things our way <laughs> well it's, it's funny because you know <clears throat> for the generation before us migrating here and they're all they have that business oriented mentality the um, merchant you know capabilities and but you know a lot of people had to struggle when they first got here and with our generation a lot there was a lot of push for going to college, the, just do anything at college. They, they didn't know what to do, <laughs> how to do it. Just go to college, do that thing, whatever. But even like you do that, but it's still your your body and your mentality brings you back to our, <laughs> our roots, which is like we're out here hustling, doing stuff to, to you know make money and help people out. And even for me, it's like I was, my parents kept me away from the business stuff but I'm still doing it, so it's like you can't take it, take it away from us. Hundred um, percent. You, yeah. you can you can always do that. I mean, I know you. Uh, you do multiple things. I know right. you're a lawyer. Uh, you do some stuff with the estate planning as well. So, you know, it's, it's always that hustle, man. You, you got to keep that fire going. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. So, um, why don't you give me an idea of like what your ideal client is, or you know, who should be contacting you? Uh, most of our clients are uh, developers and real estate investors. Uh, could be somebody that's just starting out or could be somebody that's been in, in business for 20, 30 years. Uh, most of the people that I work with are people that do have some capital uh, that have maybe experience flipping maybe three to five properties, but don't have the access to, to get to the next level. Uh, most of these people are looking for a loan in the range of 500,000 to maybe 5 million. Okay. Uh, we find uh, that people that do have access to 5 million plus do have the avenues that they can go to and the banks that provide them that capital. What we focus on is people that cannot get funded by the bank. Okay. So we help them out. You know, somebody has maybe bad credit, but they have the capital. Maybe they have the a good credit, no capital, and then uh, no experience. So it's a combination of things. And it's also, uh, like I mentioned, the experience that uh, we're going to put together. It's going to be, we're going to look at the overall picture. And when we're talking about real estate, it's mainly uh, the property that, that's going to matter a lot uh, most of the time. So we want to make sure uh, you're going to be able to service the debt. Uh, we're going to be able to maybe uh, get the after repair value and also make a profit on it so you can pay pay back your money, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah, those are the ideal clients that we work with. Uh, most of the other clients that we work with on the business side are small business owners. Uh, guys that want to pay uh, their employees, maybe they don't, they don't have that cash flow for for that month or that week. We can, you know, provide them with that capital. Now they can pay their employees. Maybe something broke, you know, it's a restaurant, their uh, kitchen equipment broke, they need $15,000 like yesterday. And uh, that's something we can provide to them. It's easy, a process, uh, funds very easy. And there's actually multiple solutions that we can, we can help them with. Like I mentioned, uh, 
it's more of uh, being a consultant and an advisor to my clients than just giving them, hey, this is one product that I offer. This is what you're going to take. Right. Yeah, it's, um, it's good that you're able to help people that can't get it done conventional conventionally because they don't have the opportunity to do it through the normal ways. You know, like you go to the bank and they always turn you down. That's why I tell people, I always tell people get money when you can get it mm -hmm. because when you need it, there, nobody's going to give it to you. It's very, <laughs> it's very difficult to get yeah. money when you need it. That, so that's what I tell my clients. There's actually a service that I provide okay. where you can actually build business credit and capital. Okay. It's a service. Uh, so, it gives you access to about anywhere between a hundred to two hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars. It's a it's a great product for realtors because realtors get a very very uh, tough time getting uh, financing. Okay. Uh, and it's a great product for business owners because now they have access to money uh, that they didn't have before, and they don't have to go to a bank when they need it. Yeah. So it's, I always tell my people like, you need to do this. <laughs> yes, you don't need the money right now. Yes, you have the cash flow. But it's money there for you. Why not use that? Like you look at the biggest companies in the world. You get like Apple, Google. They all have debt. They have yeah. the cash to buy whatever they want to buy, but they utilize it in a different way. Why not get something at a half a percent or one percent and then use your money to do something else or expand even more? Right. Yeah, that's, a, that's the thing that is difficult with um, a lot of business owners is they know how to run their business, but they don't understand maybe the, the financing part of it. And that's what you're able to help people with is try to accomplish the same thing, but show them a different or better way of doing it. hundred percent. So it's always uh, not work in your business, but work on it. And doing some things like that will allow you to work on the business more because now maybe you have the money to hire somebody to take off some things off of your plate. Now you can go out and maybe, oh, Bring in more business to yourself yeah. uh, if you're maybe a realtor or if you're you know a restaurant owner now you can use that money to maybe advertise uh, or do uh, anything else maybe you can get a food truck or something yeah. <laughs> like i said we do offer a lot of things so it's more situational based stuff but if it's one thing that i want to focus on is the fix and flip product it's a great product it's a great thing that we offer because uh, you don't only get to have a short-term loan to to buy the property but you can also get money to fix it and depending on your on your experience you get a certain amount you can get up to probably 90 percent of the repair value when you're purchasing that property for example you purchase something for a hundred thousand it needs about fifty thousand dollars in repair now you have to put you, know, you don't have a lot of experience so you have to put 30 percent down for the for the purchase so now you're, you're putting thirty thousand dollars out of your pocket and then it's gonna cost you maybe like i said 50 we can't fund you maybe 90 percent of that so 35 40 thousand dollars out of pocket and then you sell the property for 250 and it's a short-term thing you want to you want to get in and get out within probably three to six months just so the right. market does not shift on you yeah but yeah, the Fix and Flip product is a great product that we offer for anybody that's just looking to start out or that has been in business for a while. I uh, was working on something in California, it was a mansion. Uh, you know, they wanted to like build a pool and, uh, you know, add a helipad to it. And, you know, yeah. these, these things, you know, it has to be a reasonable project though. That, you know, at the end of the day, you cannot add crazy things. You're not going to get funded for those. <laughs> like the helipad could not get funded yeah. for. <laughs> yeah, you ha it has to be a normal uh, contribution or addition to whatever the property is. Right. That is, you know, probably in that same area, right? Yeah. I'm sure if all of the other properties had helipads, <laughs> probably do it in that area. Um, okay, so so we learned more about your business. What about what about Sal, the person? What do you like to do for fun? Oh, my. Do you have? I, I, I forgot I forgot the fun days <laughs> <laughs> no uh, for me uh, what I what I do right now is, is basically just just trying to focus on my business uh, but for fun is, is basically going to the gym getting that workout and um, you have to get out the house of course yeah. uh, I spend a lot of time with my friends uh, you know being around them just motivates me uh, puts me in a different state 
you know, you could have a stressful day at work and then you just meet with your people and then you just shift up right, right away. Uh, I like to get, you know, on, on the motivational stuff. <laughs> I know you're not big <laughs> on it, but <laughs> I, I do that all the time. You know, I'm, I'm reading maybe, uh, listening to an audio book maybe yeah. uh, once or twice. Uh, I got into this new app. They let you, like, summarize the book for you. So I'm, like, always at the gym listening to, like, maybe two or three books now. Yeah. And just how, how do you want to do the, these things uh, on a shorter time frame and just get, get your mind going? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. So it's no more soccer? Uh, no more <laughs> soccer. Uh, you know, I've heard that uh, if I want to be in this business, I have to play golf. <laughs> <laughs> so, golf you know, maybe that's something I want to learn now. I think, I, I think golf is uh, one of the ones that everybody says that you need to be doing. I think part of it is because you're with a few other people for a longer period of time so you can start talking versus you know if you're playing another sport like i play basketball once a week with people i mean we play for two hours and you talk for three minutes with somebody <laughs> maybe and that's only if you're guarding them or whatever right so it's, it's hard to do business like that right i mean i would i would love to get into maybe like the jiu-jitsu stuff but i don't want to break a neck <laughs> i watch ufc all the time i'm a big yeah. fan of ufc so you know th those things always uh, like you, you meet the people and you get to know like the athletes and then you get to have the similar mindset so uh, like, you look at like conor mcgregor or like khabib yeah. or any of the upcoming guys right now like how are these guys always staying focused you know sometimes you get knocked down and, and then you you have to get up yeah and you, you i take that and i apply it to, to the business and life you know there's a lot of things that go on you have family you have work you have too many things on it but you have to be focused on yourself at the end of the day that way you can just keep going because you're the man of the show there <laughs> yes yeah it's it's really hard like in business a lot of people don't see what it takes to be successful and a lot of the stuff that goes on behind the scenes and how much you've tried and done to get that one deal or one client or one aspect to work and people don't understand they think Oh, you know, this person is successful on YouTube or this thing. I'm going to quit my job and, and start it. It took that person a long time, right? <laughs> yeah. That it's there's a lot of work that goes into it. 100%. And uh, you know, I think you guys are doing a great job with what you guys are offering. Um I'm going to ask you this question just because I know I'm going to put you on the spot. Um I know you used to do uh mortgage loans at Quicken. Mhm. Mm have you ever had a situation where somebody was in probate or uh, an issue with selling a house or refinancing with some a house that was in probate? Yeah. 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 I've, I've had a client, very, very sweet guy. Uh, he his, his, So his father passed away. He couldn't get the house. He wanted to uh, buy it or refinance it. The rates were so low back in 2020. It was like getting like 30 year for like 2.8%. The guy had to wait probably like three to four months to, to go through the process, spend extra money, uh, go through the headache, court, lawyers, all of that, just to get the house. And by the time he did that, you know, rates jumped up a little bit. Now, maybe he could he could have been saving like maybe 100 bucks, 150 versus what he was doing at that time. Yeah. So it is, it is important to have something like that. Not a lot of people have it. Not sure why. Maybe people don't like the idea of, uh, you know, passing away yeah. or maybe giving somebody something to somebody that is just is just difficult. So yeah, it's, I know it's that's something that you about. can help with. Yeah, it's hard to think about. Uh, people don't want to think about when they pass away. And it's not just when they pass away. It's if they're sick and they can't take care of themselves or they're injured, they can't take care of themselves. And I try to prevent those problems from happening. And sometimes it's the cost. And I understand that, but I offer um, payment plans through a third party that they can qualify for. It's like I, me as a person that knows what you can potentially have in protecting your family and your assets, I don't want you to go without it because you can't afford it right now. That's why I offer um, a third party payment plan that you can sign up with this company and, and I will get paid up front. I'll take care of you and you can make payment plans. Uh, payments oh, with them that's awesome man people love yeah. uh payment plans you yeah. know you don't want to pay something and then, then make sure it's it's of course worth it 
I do not know a lot about, about the estate planning side of things, but I was thinking about it the other day, actually. I'm like, you know, I have a house, you know, these things going on. What would, well, what if something happens? You know, who's going to, you know, take care of, of my family maybe, or who's going to take over? Right. Uh, what are some of the benefits of these things? Yeah. So that's good that you asked that specifically, because there's a lot of benefits that people don't know about. Right. So <clears throat> not just transferring your assets to your family when you pass away. So if the house is under your name, if you pass away, your family is going to have to go to court. But we can set up documents that right when you pass away, it will go to your family, whoever you choose, um, and they will be able to just submit a death certificate and say, okay, now that property is mine. They can sell it. They can refinance it right away. They don't have issues with um, you know, having to go to probate court. It's their property. Um, the other benefit that people don't know or don't think about is what if something happens to you, but you don't pass away, who's going to pay the mortgage? Who's going to be able to make adjustments or sell the property if you have to sell it? You, nobody can do that unless they go to court. They have to go to probate court to get permission to do that. Right. So you're taking care of all of these things now when you're healthy, when you can, you're making the decisions yourself, and then everything is taken care of later on. Right, so it's, it's basically uh, having something that's, it's an easy process. Yeah. You know, people nowadays look for something that's fast and easy, whether it's a mortgage or anything yeah. that you're doing. Uh, you know, you know when, when I am doing when I was doing mortgages, uh, you know, people want to close in like, you know, seven days. Yeah, seven days is long. <laughs> <laughs> so why not do it for, for something that's going to be actually beneficial? Because, you know, something is going to happen one day. Yeah. And why not protect your assets? So yes. I'm actually glad you brought that up. <laughs> I have a little bit more information on it yeah. right now. And uh, I want to see how we can actually uh, transition with doing that with, with businesses. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, with, if somebody has like five, ten properties that is in that entity, what's going to happen to it? Yeah. How, how are they going to be able to transfer? Is that something that you can help my clients with? Yeah. Well, any business, any entity... I can create the documents for, God forbid that person passes away or get, gets injured, who's going to be able to run the business, right? Like, okay, let's let's say, for example, you had COVID, you were in the hospital for three months. Who's running your business for you? They can't go to the bank and tell, and tell them, you know, this person's in this situation. You have to go to court to get permission to do that. Or you have the documents set up beforehand. Now this person can walk into the bank, here are the documents. I have permission to do all this stuff for this person. And you're good to go. Okay. So that it, it's helpful if they need lending too. Is that, is that what you're talking about? Oh yeah, with everything. They can yes. be, uh, you know, the co-signer or maybe exactly the, the guarantor on the on the on the financing itself. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how can we get in contact with you? So I'm on, uh, you know, social media, LinkedIn. If you look me up on LinkedIn, Sal Nissan, Sal Nissan on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, my direct number uh, for anybody that wants to contact me on uh, anything they want to talk about business related, uh, direct number is 248-595-1181. My email address is sal at cashola.com. Uh, I'm sure you will be uh, linking those uh, in the description yeah. oh, here, yeah, right? Definitely, yes. Awesome. Yeah, we'll, we'll get you guys uh, sales, all of his contact information and tag him on, on these uh, videos. And uh, hey. if, you, if you can't get a hold of him, you can always contact me and I'll give you his number. Right. Make, and make sure you like this video and subscribe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, again, this is Joe Dallow from Dallow Estate Planning. And you are watching Joe Knows. Uh, you can give me a call at 248-914-8146 if you need anything estate planning related, whether you need to take care of yourself, your children, or your, your properties. Um, you can also email me at joe at dallowestateplanning.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me.